with Tony Blair. We'll get to that one day. In the meantime, it's a pleasure to welcome a politician who resigned on principle from his cabinet in opposition to his war policy. Please welcome Claire Schultz. It's great to see the turnout here today. And we've got a lot to do. What's happening in Gaza is immoral. It's illegal under international law and it will not succeed. The people of Gaza are suffering terribly. I was there two months ago before this bombardment but already the siege was tightening. People were hungry. There was no medical supplies. The sewage systems were breaking down. Gaza measures 25 miles by six and one and a half million people are crowded in there. And not only is this bombardment a war crime, a collective punishment, our government, the governments of the EU, have virtually said to Israel, as they did in the case of Lebanon, you can carry on. They said both sides must be restrained, as though both sides are equal. Since the rocket started seven years ago, 4,000 Gazans have been killed and 14 Israelis. None of us want to see anyone killed, but we want to stand on international law. When we were there, we met with Prime Minister Hania. He said, this is what has been asked of us. One, denounce terrorism. We agreed a ceasefire. Who broke the ceasefire? Israel. It, it bombed. It bombed people in Gaza yeah. and broke the ceasefire and then tightened the siege and starved people and deprived them of health care. Secondly, he was asked to honour previous agreements and he said we don't agree with previous agreements but we agree the Palestinians negotiated them. And thirdly, asked to recognise Israel and he said we will accept a long term truce on the basis of two states on 67 boundaries. So a peace is available. Israel doesn't want it. It wants the land without the people. And we must insist that we stand by them, we'll change the policy of our government, and Palestine will be free, and the people of Gaza's suffering will end. Thank you. Thank you very much, Claire. Just to announce that the march is still coming down Whitehall. So there are many, many thousands still to join us. This is one of the biggest demonstrations that we've seen in recent years. Thank you very much for each and every one of you. Our next speaker is one of the many stars that have joined this campaign and joined this demonstration. Please welcome someone who needs no introduction, particularly from myself. Please welcome a singer, artist and humanitarian, Annie Lennox. Thank you very much. A few days after Christmas, I turned the television on and I saw the piles of smoke emanating from the buildings of Gaza. And I knew that underneath those piles of smoke, there were innocent children, women, mothers, fathers, ordinary civilians who are stuck in Gaza. One and a half million ordinary civilians who are stuck in Gaza. The clock is ticking. In 24 hours, it's very likely that the Israeli government will order their troops to enter Gaza. Can you imagine what that will be? This is why I am here today. There are no winners. There are only losers when it comes to death, when it comes to innocent civilians. There are no sides. We call on the ministers of all nations to please take responsibility. Speak out, demand an immediate and absolute ceasefire now. The resolution to peace is by negotiation, otherwise blood will be spilled. 
And I, as a mother, as a human being, as a humanitarian, dread to think what kind of images we are going to see from now on if Israel enter into Gaza. Thank you. Israel, we send you a message from the capital of the UK. The Palestinian people will never kneel down. We will never Palestinians will never be crushed. Our resistance will continue until we gain our independence. We tell the international community not to let these atrocious crimes committed against our innocent people. It's a shame in the honor of humanity to let these war criminals who advocate democracy and committed heinous crimes against the innocent Palestinians. We tell the international community, we don't want your sympathy, we don't want your money, we want our freedom! We want this is the time where people have to understand that the Palestinian people are not going to accept these crimes that are being committed against us. Apaches, F-16s, bombs, and our brave brothers and sisters are resisting this with boldness, with perseverance. We pray for God to give them the strength in order to overcome the occupation. of one of the most active organizations working to bring to the fore the importance of Jerusalem, which we will never forget, and to uphold the rights of the Palestinian people. Please welcome the chair of Friends of Al-Aqsa, Ismail Patel. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you all. On Friday night, Five young sisters, Tahir, Ikram, Samar, Dina, and Jawar went to bed. They never woke up. A missile from an Israeli pilot vaporized their bodies. A jet that was supplied by Washington, spare parts that came from brown government yeah, Britain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a shame yeah. on you! Yeah. My friends, yeah. I would like to salute today the Jewish friends who have joined us here today. Yeah. Thank you very much and salute them! Yeah. Because they are better than the belly dancing Arab leaders in China! Help to all of you! 